if you have a spreadsheet containing locations and dates and need to find historical weather records that match, Visual Crossing Weather has exactly the functionality that you need. Today I'll show you how to use your existing spreadsheet data to find historical weather data quickly and easily. First I'll go to the Visual Crossing Weather Data Download page and log into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, simply click on the orange button on the right side. There you can sign up for a free trial so that you can follow along. When prompted to add locations, I'll choose the File Import option. Now I can either open a file browser, paste in raw data as text, or simply drag and drop my spreadsheet file into the drop zone. As input, you can use any CSV file that contains dates, locations, and has normal column headers. The system now shows the loaded data records and prompts me to identify the columns to be used as inputs to the weather query. The name of the address column has already been guessed by the interface, and I'll manually select the store name and sales date. Finally, I need to tell Visual Crossing Weather what type of weather query I want to run. For this example, we want to load historical weather records based on the dates in the spreadsheet. In this panel, I could instead choose a weather forecast or a historical weather summary query. For more information on these and other options, please see our other videos on these topics. When I run the query, I initially see the weather calendar view. However, since my data has different dates for each location, this view looks rather sparse. So I'll switch to the grid view and see the weather that matches the date and location for the first store on my list. To see the weather records for my other stores and dates, I could simply add them from the drop-down at the top of the list. I could also download the raw data as a CSV file. However, instead I'll switch to the API view and copy the query URL. Now I can use this URL to load the weather query results directly into Excel. I'll show you how to do that by switching to an Excel workbook. First I'll load the historical data by switching to the Data tab and selecting the Menu option to load data from the web. In the URL box I'll paste the Visual Crossing Weather URL and click OK to submit the query. Excel will then load the weather data into a preview window. As you can see, the query returned many weather metrics including temperature, precipitation, and wind speed. These metrics are reported for each location and date in my input sheet. When I click the Load button, Excel will load the historical weather data into my workbook, and now I can begin my data analysis. For this demonstration, I'll wrap up with some simple graphs. First, I'll make a graph of temperature at the sales date for each of my locations. In the real world, this may be useful to see how temperature affects the sales for my business. Next, I'll make a similar graph for wind speed. If my data were insurance claim reports, for example, I could use wind speed and wind gust data to see if storms in the area were the likely cause for the claims. Obviously, we have only scratched the surface of how historical weather data can be used in Excel. Once you have loaded the data into your workbook, Excel can be a powerful analysis tool for your business. If you would like to learn more about using Visual Crossing Weather options such as weather forecasts, historical weather summary reports, and using weather data in other analysis tools, please see our other videos. Thank you for watching.